So a common question I am seeing a lot within Throne and Liberty is the currency known as ornate coins. What is it? Where do I spend it? How am I getting it? And more. Well today guys in this video I will explain everything you need to know and also showing you guys what in my opinion the way you should be spending this stuff. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ. Now I'm giving away 1000 plus Lucent. Now to win it's as simple as this, drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below, make sure you are subbed. I'll pick winners from the comment section and announce them on tomorrow's video and Sunday's video. So good luck everybody. Okay, so the ornate coins in Throne and Liberty is a currency you get as far as I'm aware from two different sources. The first is by collecting those books or pages that you can find scattered all around the map. I mean, I was picking these up, I mean, you see those glowing purple things out in the distance and just run over to it and you pick it up. I wasn't at first aware that there's actually giving me those ornate coins for picking these pages up, but you actually get them. Now these are scattered all over the map, there are hundreds of these. Now as far as I'm aware, these pages give you three ornate coins each. I mean this may change later on in the game in those harder areas, but right now in the early game areas you get three per page. Now you also guys get these given to you in the mail by the developers. And I mean this may be a daily thing. I can't confirm this but I have been getting them daily and quite a good chunk too. So what do you do with these things? Well actually guys you can do quite a lot with them and well they can really help you out in regards to progressing and leveling up gear, items, your skills, you name it. So if you come to the shop, here you can firstly see the amount you have uh, up the top of the screen next to that gold you can see your ornate coins. From here guys, to spend them you want to scroll down and you'll see the ornate coins section. And well, this is where you can indeed spend those ornate coins and there's quite a few decent things here you can purchase. Now you have the Anatoy, the titles, the dies, the sewing threads, fishing bait chests, enchanted ink, tray extraction stones, precious blessing pouches, growth stones and growth books. So actually, like I said, quite a lot of useful things here. And while to be honest, very decently priced too. Now it was recommended to me at first to help my progression, I should more or less gamble and buy the precious blessing pouches because these can drop a variety of things including purple armour and weapons and many many other things all the way down to the bare basics. But yes, I was recommended to buy these, but actually guys, I disagree with that. I think depending on your progression, there are much, much better ways of spending these ornate coins. I think you should be spending them on firstly, the precious skill growth books. And the reason why I'll explain in a second. What you also need to know about these, well, these items here you can buy for those ornate coins. There's a limit to how many you can buy per month. So keep that in mind. Now the reason I'd buy the purple precious skill growth books is because when you actually dissolve these guys from your inventory, you get 10 of the rare skill growth books, which are extremely helpful when it comes to upgrading your skills around that mid game where most players are now. So yeah, you purchase one of these for 10 ornate coins, you can then dissolve it and get 10 of the rare variant of this growth book, which is utterly wild people. Now the same basis kind of works for the growth stones for weapons and armor except when you dissolve them you only get five of the rare versions so yeah keep that in mind. So definitely start with the growth books and then move on to other things depending on what you need. Now it is important to note too on Xbox it doesn't tell you the difference between when you hover above these um, growth books it doesn't tell you which one's the active one and which one's the passive one. So the one on the left hand side here is the passive skill growth book and the one on the right side here is the active skill growth book. So that's important to know. Now but buying all 20 of these guys 
Dissolving them will give you 200 of the rare versions, which is massive in regards to leveling up those skills, which is super important for this game. Now another thing like I said I was recommended to spend uh, these ornate coins on were those precious blessing pouches. These do though cost 45 of these ornate coins each and you can only get 15 per month. Now the items that can drop from these are amazing but odds are as you're seeing on the screen now you'll get nothing of use at the moment, which is exactly what happened to me. I mean, I saw all that purple armor, I was thinking, there's no way, there's absolutely no way I'm gonna actually get one of these, and I didn't. Now, a pal of mine opened 15 of these, his monthly supply, and I think he got two purple armors. So yeah, the odds are pretty low people, they really are. So yeah, do what you gotta do with these ornate coins. Uh, but if I were you, I wouldn't waste them on these unless you are overflowing with them and can't buy anything else because your monthly limit has been hit. Uh, but yeah, it is completely up to you. But I'll give you guys what in my opinion is the best way of spending these. Okay, so now guys, we're going to move on to free exclusive loot which you can claim on both Xbox and PlayStation. Firstly on Xbox because I know how it's done. It's where I play. Pressing that home button, then guys go down to Game Pass, yes you need Game Pass for this, then across to Perks, and within here guys you should see that Throne and Liberty, well, icon there, click on it guys, and you get a free clay outfit and the Anna toy, pretty cool. On PlayStation, I'm not exactly sure how it works because I don't play on PlayStation. However, um, if someone can leave a comment down below explaining the process, as they tweeted this out which you're seeing on screen now. Um, basically confirmed you can get free items, but the link they provided brought up an error code for me. Uh, weird, I know, but yeah. So yeah, try it out guys and see what you gotta do and let us know down below. But yes, free loot for Xbox and PlayStation players. No doubt celebrating the launch of the game. Pretty badass. But there we have it guys for another video. Remember, use those ornate coins wisely and don't be spending them on junk, especially when there's a great process you can be using to help with your progression and making yourself a lot stronger in leveling up those skills, weapons and armors. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more Throne and Liberty, be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.